What's going on YouTube? My name is OpenBag2 and today I'm going to be teaching you how to modify the Wandering Trades data pack from Vanilla Tweaks. So if you've never used the Wandering Trades data pack from Vanilla Tweaks, uh, here's what it does. It takes our good friend, the Wandering Trader, and he makes him kind of useful by offering mini blocks for trade in addition to hermit huts. So let's see, let's go ahead and buy some dock heads, buy some etho heads. And now, even though I don't play on a server with etho or dock M, I can wear their heads or decorate them and put them wherever I want. Oh, not what I meant to do. There we go. There, now I'm etho holding dock's head. But here's the thing. There are something like, what, 28 hermits? Uh, but there are a lot of other YouTubers that I like who aren't hermits. Um, you know, Minecraft developers, random folks on other SMPs, random other creators. So what I wanted was the ability to uh, modify that trade list to put in someone else's head. Or maybe a different head from a different hermit. Uh, like... I don't know, uh, Mumbo's mumbo Tato head from Season 8 of Hermitcraft. So what I've done is I've made a script that'll do it for you. So here we're going to go to this documentation. Uh, this is a GitHub project called Headhunter, uh, free and open source. And what you do is you download the repository. Okay, there we go. Uh, Archive Manager. Well, I'm doing this on Linux because I'm a Linux guy, but all of this will be pretty much exactly the same, no matter whether you're Linux, Mac, Windows, I don't know. Okay, so we have this repo cloned, uh, and the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to download uh, some packs. So we're going to go over to the Vanilla Tweaks website. We're going to click on Data Packs. We're going to go down to uh, Hermitcraft. We're going to select the Wandering Trades Hermit Edition. And then we're also going to select, under Mobs, the More Mob Heads Data Pack. Uh, I'll talk through why in a minute. You don't really need to do that if you don't want the More Mob Heads, but I don't know about you, but there are some mobs that I just really don't like killing, but I would still like their heads. So, hey, my single player world, I can do what I want. So, uh, anyway, that downloaded this data pack uh, folder right here. I'm going to go ahead and unzip it. I'm going to try at least. There we go. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in packs this folder right here. Oop. Okay. So now that that's done, uh, it's time to actually uh, spool up something to run some code. Uh, the uh, easiest way to do this is going to be with Jupyter. If you've never used Jupyter, it's a, uh, it's a notebook running thing that allows you to interactively run Python. I mean, you can always interactively run Python, but this makes it nice and pretty, and you do it in a web browser. So uh, what you do is, uh, there are ins installation instructions here. I think you can also run it in the cloud, uh, but, but I already have Jupyter installed. I have it installed in um, a Conda environment. Don't need to worry about what that is, but I can just uh, get it running by calling the command Jupyter lab. Uh, although first I wanna make sure I'm in the right folder, which I am not right now. Uh, head Hunter main, and then Jupyter lab. And that's going to generate a link that I'm going to, oh, hello. That's going to generate a link that I am going to copy. And I'm going to then paste into uh, my web browser. Uh, it might just open up for you, by the way. Um, it's just not because this is not my usual web browser. Uh, and anyway, once you've got that done, you want to make sure you see directories like this. You've got your tutorial right here, and you can just run this tutorial, but uh, I'm going to be doing uh, everything from scratch just to so you can make it a little bit easier for you to follow along. So 
first thing I'm going to do, create a new uh, notebook, give it a name. Uh, excuse me. Rename notebook. I'll call it uh, head hunter demo. And we'll start off by importing a bunch of stuff. So we'll start by importing the headhunter package itself. And then from inside headhunter, we're going to import the four Python modules. So from headhunter import extract, parse, write, and release. All right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bootstrap our installation using the packs pack that we've already downloaded. Um, what this package, what all these scripts do is they take the existing um, head uh, wandering trades data pack and then they modify it. So uh, just bear that in mind. We're not creating something from scratch. We're just starting with their base and then adding our own lovely stuff on top. So uh, I'm going to run extract dot on the tab just so I can see copy data from or yes copy data from existing pack excuse me and then I actually don't need to pass it any arguments I just run it and now if we go into this headhunter folder we see a bunch of data and stuff okay so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a headlist so starting from the uh, parse module, we're going to start by looking at what the existing headlist is. So that's going to be parse wandering trades. Again, don't need any arguments as long as you've got stuff in the packs folder. And this is going to output two variables, uh, heads and block trades. You might decide that you don't want the block trades, but I do, so I'm going to go ahead and save them off. If you didn't want them, what you would just do is replace this with an underscore uh, and then forget about it. But again, I'm going to keep the block trades. So, boom. And then let's look at the heads that we've got. So, for I get head and enumerate heads, print IDX, wrapper head. Uh, the wrapper is just so taking advantage of some fanciness. Uh, but here you can see there are 29 hermits and 29 heads. So this is 29 hermits. Uh, and you know what? I love all these hermits. I want to keep all these hermits. But I also want to add uh, some creators of my own. Yeah, so I'm going to create an empty list of heads. And then I'm going to append to it um, a, a custom head spec, uh, which I can do using my heads dot append head hunter dot head spec dot from username and i don't know let's do ginnembot and then maybe let's do sliced lime uh and I don't know. Uh, let's do Fmau. Uh, and now uh, I could just call it a day there, but maybe there are some very specific skins that I want in addition to having some very specific heads. So what I'll do is in another tab, I'm going to go to name MC. And I will type in pearlescent moon. And now I can see, well, she's had a bunch of heads over the years. Maybe I want 5 a.m. pearl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this command that gives me her very special version of that skin. And I'm going to do my heads.append. Head hunter or uh sorry parse dot parse give command excuse me and I'm just gonna do these triple quotes that'll allow me to paste this in. Uh I think Flake it's gonna complain about that. Uh that's fine. Boop boop boop. 
uh, and then uh, name equals 5 a.m. Pearl. And then I'm going to need to close this. And there we go. So uh, now I've got, what, one, two, three, four custom heads. And as I said earlier, I also downloaded the more mob heads pack so that maybe I could have this wandering trader sell me some mob heads additionally. So let's go ahead and um, parse that. Um, if we go into, so how this works is parse dot parse mob heads. You give it the name of the mob who you really don't want to kill. So, I don't know. I just, I, I really, really hate killing uh, silverfish. Um, they're just so cute and cuddly. I, I don't know. I can't do it. I just can't do it. So, if I run this, uh, my heads dot append, uh, extend, excuse me. Um, this is extend and not append because um, append is only when you're giving them one at a time. Extend is when you're giving multiple. And because parse mob heads uh, will parse uh, all variants, um, this will be either one or multiple. So there we go. And now if we look at my heads, uh, let's do same thing we did here. Bloop. And bloop. Rapper, and then we'll just change this to my heads. So these are the additional heads we've got. So now if we want to go ahead and uh, write these to our data pack, we'll use the write module, and that will be write head trades. And this takes in a list. So I'm going to give it the original uh, heads. And then I'm going to append uh, the my heads to that list. And that's going to write, that just wrote those to file. Uh, and it also gave me these two numbers, 2 and 35. That's telling me the bounds of the uh, hermit head trade index. Why that's important is that I now need to go into uh, writes.update trade count and tell it that I am do I'm going to give it two and thirty five for the low and the high, and then I'm going to say trade provider equals hermit. All right, um, and then next I'm going to need to since I do want to actually do these block trades, what I'm going to do is have it write those to a separate file. Um, so write dot write block trades provide the block trades. And here this has given me two more indices that I'm going to have to write. So, bloop. and that's going to be 1002 to 1191. Nope, oh, I can't type. 1191. I really can't type. I'm going to change this to block. And there we go. Let's actually have a quick look at the files that got generated. So I can go into data, wandering trades, functions, and now we have this add block trade dot uh, function and this add trade dot function. So add trade, here is what the trade list looks like. This is the this should basically be the original trade list, but now if we go down to the end, you can see hey here's our here is our custom heads in addition. Um yeah there's the silverfish. Uh, and then in add block trades, this is just the block trades from earlier, but now they're in a separate file so that we don't have to, uh, so that um, they're managed correctly. And then the files above have been modified as well. I'm going to make one additional change, which is in tick.mc function. Uh, the default is for it to only offer two to five uh, hermit heads. I want to up that number. Let's do eight to 10. Uh, I did 12. I'll uh, I'll take that as a Freudian slip. 8 to 12. Gonna uh, save that file. File. Save. 
close. And that's it. So now that we have written our trade lists and updated our trade counts and done all the other modifications that we want, the last thing we're going to want to do is write some updated metadata files and then bundle everything up. So I'll start by write.write meta files and then release dot make zip. And now in the root of our directory, we've got this headhunter.zip file. Uh, we can now shut down Jupyter. Can we though? Shut down. Shut down. Yes, that's fine. That's what I wanted it to happen. Um, and now we can go into here and where are we go? Headhunter main. Here we go. Headhunter.zip. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go into that world that I was just in and I'm going to delete this and pop in the new data pack. I'm going to go into my Minecraft world. Let me take off Etho's head. Uh, and I'm going to kill that guy. Then I'm going to type reload. Uh, and now I'm going to summon a new wandering trader. Hey, buddy. Huh? Yeah, don't. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm not going to kill you, at least not right away. Hold on. Hi, hi, hi. And here we go. We've got all the new trades. Um, In addition to all the block trades. So you can tell this is working because we've got Ganembon right here. Um, we've got Ren. And we've also got all the block trades. And also, this is offering a whole bunch more than you'd get from the vanilla pack. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, just some uh, quick notes. Uh, you can absolutely redistribute um, this data pack if you want. Uh, according to the terms of the Vanilla Tweak, excuse me, the Vanilla Tweaks license. I'm going to pull that up real quick for you. Um, inside of your Headhunter zip, you'll find this license.txt. And just want to make sure you all read this. You have to comply with these terms uh, whenever distributing them. But that just basically says you can't put it behind a, a paywall or Patreon. But yeah, if you want to throw this up on CurseForge or Modrinth or Planet Minecraft, go nuts. Um, do make sure to uh, include the credits here. Don't modify it to delete the credits from here. Uh, and if you want to give me a shout out as well, uh, feel free. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, this code is licensed under the GNU public license version 3, which just basically means that if you modify my code, you have to license it under the same terms. But if all you're doing is just using my code, you don't have to do anything. I'm not imposing any restrictions. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Hope that that is going to bring some joy into your life from now on whenever you hear the sounds of the wandering trader. And yeah, have a good one.